Hello friends, Chris Slight here to show you all the changes and new features in XSplit Broadcaster 3.4. You'll now add all your sources from the Sources menu at the bottom. We've also added some handy buttons to quickly resize your sources. We've separated the Outputs menu into the Broadcast Record and Playout sections. The Broadcast menu is where you'll set up all your streaming outputs. Local recordings will now be managed from the record menu. The playout menu is where you enable NDI, projector mode and Blackmagic playout. You can now access your recordings and screenshots from the file menu. When you log into XSplit with your Facebook account, your Facebook Live output and Facebook specific widgets will automatically be added. Let's check out the live comments widget first. If you log into XSplit via Facebook, your account will already be connected to the widget. We also use the Facebook API to automatically pull the video ID of whichever broadcast is currently live to simplify setup. In the improved live comments widget, you can now preview the look of the comments before going live. Next is the new live reactions animation widget. This widget will enable reactions to appear as an animated source of an XSplit broadcaster. You can choose from a variety of animations, which direction they move, which reaction appear, and adjust timing, size of reaction icons. The Reactions Poll Counter allows you to display a count of the various reactions on your current live stream. You can change the text above the reaction in case you want the reactions to be used as a form of voting for various actions in your live stream. Aside from UI updates, we've done a host of bug fixes and performance improvements, which you can read all about in our release notes, which you can find a link to in the description. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us on social media and we hope you enjoy XSplit Broadcaster 3.4.